This video will cover the basics of creating a survey and getting started with Question Pro. After logging in, click the Create a Survey button at the top of the page to open up the Create New Survey wizard. We'll choose Copy a Survey Template, select the Customer and Client Satisfaction category, and choose a template. We'll then select the Platinum theme and click Create Survey. Our survey is now live and available for distribution. Let's now edit the question and answer options and further customize the survey to meet our needs. First, let's remove a question. This is done by hovering on a question and clicking the More button to see additional options, then clicking the Delete button and confirming. Next, we'll edit the wording and answer options for a question. We can do this using the Inline Editor or by clicking the Edit button. We can also add HTML or use the built-in options to add formatting. Editing the question code will help reference this question later when setting up logic and in reports. Now let's add a new question by hovering over the green plus sign and clicking Add Question. There are dozens of question types available and additional information can be found in the Help section. For our Customer Satisfaction Survey, we're going to add the Net Promoter Score question. With our survey questions complete, we can now customize the user experience. Let's start by changing the URL to make it easier to distribute and share via email and on social platforms. We'll click Customize at the top of the page just under Live Survey Link. Adding a title and logo is an easy way to further enhance your brand. To do this, we click Title and Logo, Upload or Select our logo from Uploaded Images, and enter a title. We then click Save Changes. Anytime when you're adding questions to your survey, you can click on the Preview button in the upper right corner of the Edit Survey screen to get a sneak peek at how the survey will look when distributed. Adding logic to your survey is a powerful way to enhance the user experience and keep the questions relevant to the respondent. To demonstrate how easy this is to do, we'll make our open-ended comment question appear only to those who give us a 7 or below on the Net Promoter Score question. To do this, we'll hover over the Net Promoter Score question and click the Logic button. In the Branching slash Skip Logic section, we'll set If Selected Jump To to the Comments question for answer options 0 through 7, and for all other answers, we'll send them to the Thank You page by setting that as our default destination. And then we click Save Logic. When we preview and take our survey again, we'll see that the logic has been added. After we've added additional questions, we may decide to change the order in which the questions appear. This can easily be done by hovering on any question, clicking the More menu, and clicking Reorder. We can then drag and drop questions into the desired order and click Reorder Questions. We'll now click on the Surveys tab to rename this survey for easy reference later. Under the Options menu, we'll click Rename, type the new name which is not seen by the survey respondent, and click Update. We've now created a simple survey, edited the questions, and added question codes. We've assigned branching logic. Our question order is how we want it. We have a customized URL to share when we're ready to distribute the survey. And we've changed the survey name and assigned question codes for easy reference later. To learn more, visit the Question Pro Help section at the top of the site or go to www.questionpro.com help.